Hello there and welcome to some Hearts of Iron 4 with the Battle of the Bosporus DLC. We're going to be doing a campaign here as the Kingdom of Greece and we are going to be going with Monarchist Greece. We're going to need to have Iron Man mode and historical AI focuses. I do have a plan how I think I can maximize the uh, creation of Monarchist Greece. And the main way I want to do that is not rush through with the King's Government. We want to try and get uh, through these areas first. Now, if we go through with the King's Government and then the right to rule, we'll lose our our opinion with, is it uh, Italy and France? Uh, we don't want to do that just yet, because we do want to go through, uh, utilize our strengths, and then uh, open foreign subsidized factories, which requires me to have good opinion with these countries. So I'm going to go and uh, devaluate the Drachna first. doesn't take terribly long. As for the... Uh, military here we're going to go ahead and split them into two divisions uh, two uh, two armies and we're going to have both of these armies join a uh, an army group led by this man we don't exactly have many options here these are the main chaps that we uh, have at our disposal we're going to just go through and edit the uh, colors here as well because I do want them to be relatively representative we're going to be uh, army group uh, Hellenic very good I'm going to go with uh, you guys we'll give you a uh, yellow color with that there, and you could be Army uh, Athena, and it will have you under the color of uh, of blue. We'll have you the uh, Army Apollo, Apollos. Perfect. So we got a couple of armies here, and they will uh, do their jobs. Main job is going to be: I would like you to uh, garrison this area, and I'd like you to garrison uh, this area up here. Or do I want you to, let's just stick them on these two areas here. There's a reason for only these two areas, which will come uh, evidence later on. Now, as for dockyards, I just want them to work on convoys for now. Convoys will be great. As for these, though, I do just want guns. Guns for the first. Three factories, I think. And then, well, let's not click on guns again. Then we want to worry about support equipment and artillery, but not until we have got these other things sorted out first. Perfect. Three civilian factories, we're going to be sticking them onto military factories at first. It's going to take a while until these are built or anything useful. Research slots, always uh, support weapons level 1. And then uh, I like the uh, industry tab. I want to go for basic machine tools and I want to go for construction. And then we just, uh, we want to place the king on house arrest. No, no we don't, we don't want to do that. We're going to have uh, an election soon. It's going to be a bit of a kerfuffle. But uh, we'll just leave that for now. Uh, what do we have going on here? No, we have to... We've already done that, so okay, great. So we're going to just go straight ahead here and hopefully not have any issues with an audio imbalance. I, my audio should be fine. It should be fine. If not, I'll uh, soon discover it and have to uh, sort it out. We do have a navy. This navy, though, I will want uh, merged up for now. And we'll have them on support naval invasions, but not quite yet send them to sea. They, they won't actually go to sea until all the time actually comes. But that's what we're going to want them to do. As for our planes, we want to get all of our planes over into uh, Attica. Very good. We'll just uh, have them ready to rock but not sent anywhere just yet. Perfect. Excellent. Now it is uh, mostly a waiting game. We want to try and uh, get this here sorted. The monarchists win the election. Greek crowds were unsurprised to hear that the conservatives loyal to the King George II had won the Greek election of 1936. Prime Minister Konstantinos Demetrizis is expected to continue his stay in office and the King has expressed his personal belief that Demetrizis partnership uh, premiership shall be a very long and successful one. Only time will tell if the king's hunch is correct. A great victory for Greece. Perfect. So, uh, that wasn't the, uh, the stuff here. This will uh, be done soon enough, though. Only five more days. Then we will uh, be uh, devaluating the drachma. Excellent. The drachma is devaluated, which helps us uh, managing our debts here. Uh, we can go of utilize our strengths, which will gain us political power gain, recruit population, consumer goods, uh, stability, factory output. I think that is where I want to go straight away. We don't want to force farmers into factories. We'll all starve to death. Um, as well as getting these real resources here will also be a great thing. But yes, let's first go with utilizing our strength. It's going to take 70 days. 
hopefully it goes uh, swimmingly. I'm not sure if this music is uh, new with the game. I haven't heard it before, but I haven't exactly played as Grease since the uh, base game was released. Let's go ahead and try and get rid of some of these deads here. It takes a while to get through. Let's get rid of these and keep it straight on uh, this area here. We'll try and uh, repay all of the nations. Let's actually have a look at our opinion here. So it's currently at minus 10. We could get them up to uh, the desired number. Let's have a look again at this. So, uh, yeah, to go through this, I don't actually need to have repaid my debt, it doesn't look like. The nations just have to exist. Okay, then. Well, in that case, let's get to it. We currently have 0.4 per day. If I were to increase relations with you, increase relations, it will be 0.4 cost. Ah. Okay, so I'm going to do one at a time, and then it will naturally take down. Let's go with uh, France first. Improve relations. It's going to be all of my points, but uh, we'll surely be able to fix that up later on. In fact, we do have a lot of points here. We could go through with it, because it doesn't take terribly long to get all the way up there. Turkey remilitarizes the Turkish Straits, and remilitarization of the Rhineland. Good for them. It's uh, not really effective for us, but let's go ahead and improve our relations here as well. Marks will go down, but that's uh, that's fine. No concentrate on utilizing our strength. Treaty of Addis Ababa. Good for them. Italy has uh, capitulated the Ethiopians taking over all of their land. Insufficient resources. We do need steel, but I'm not going to be trading any of my factories for that just yet. A left Heroios Venizelos dies in exile. Um, leader of the Venizelists and a revered titan of Greek politics has passed away, still in exile, after his ousting by the military in 1935. He was a passionate contributor to the Greek multi-party system, and a figure who was perhaps unrivaled in how much he influenced the Greek national con consciousness. However, it will not be his successor that will be he will be remembered for, but rather his many failings. It was him himself who championed the destructive force of republicanism in this country. And it was his senseless revisionism that saw our nation nearly annihilated in the Greco-Turkish War of 1919. Every single problem that Greece faces today can be laid at the feet of Venizios as the main source of all our nation's woes. He was a revolutionary, a statesman, and a political pioneer. He was a rabble rouser, a warmonger, and a failure. What more needs to be said about this man, other than that we are glad he shall never f uh, rear his face in Greece again after all the pain he has caused. We gain base stability and uh, lose popularity of democracy. Excellent. I wonder if that would be uh, different if I had gone through a different decision here. Because we can arrest the, uh, the, the, the guy in charge, the, uh, the king. Or we can uh, go through with the uh, bring home the exiled republicans, which I assume would be him. So I, I assume that will actually be a flavorful event if I were to play the other way here. That is perfectly fine though, we don't need to worry about uh, about that. Very good. Perfect. Uh, we are getting nearly at utilizing our strengths. The relations with these other nations should be getting up there. 70 and 54. Okay, so we are getting there. Very good. Well, France will be over soon, so I'm going to start now with the United Kingdom. Utilize our strengths. Perfect. Do I now get a bonus? I do. I get extra points there due to that. Well, of course, um, we do have the no national focus being taken since that as well. Uh, we're going to yeah, lignite liquefaction. Again, it's a synthetic factory, but we really want to do that more to get down to here so we get all of these resources. And in this time, hopefully get relations with uh, all of you above 80. France is already there. Italy is close. I'm going to start with a German Reich here as well. We should have the points to go through for quite a while. That is quite a, a loss, but Italy... Uh, not Italy, France. How often do you go down? Oh, it's going to get to 100 soon, and it should automatically stop, I would think. So we are going to go and start with Germany now as well. Proof relations. Let's get all of these relations up. I want as many factories as I can get. Minus 97 per day, that's quite a, uh, that's quite an amount. Okay, France is at uh, plus 100 now, so that uh, will end. Oh, it's minus 3 per month, okay. 
Next. Second London Naval Treaty signed. I'm not going to worry about my debts for now because I do want to uh, concentrate on these guys first. Uh, send here. I want to go with the uh, Dispersed Industry. That's the one I always choose. And then Improved Machine Tools. I want my uh, efficiency to be up very, very high here. We will eventually repay, repay all of our debt. What is this? Total debt paid 8.4%. Very good. Very good. So you're still at 90. Oh yes, it's per month, not per day. Well, it goes out well, one per day. 45, 63, 80. So you are at your 100. Very good. Okay, so it's only Russia left. Let's go ahead and uh, improve relations with them as well. And then when they're done, we know that it is time. The UK won't be terribly much on longer. Just going to hope that France gives us enough time here. Germany's not going to be very long. Come on, Soviets, let's get this going. And then we do need to go through of the next plan here. But as long as we can at least uh, press to get this done a few days before, we should be able to keep it uh, at the point. They're still at 90. Still minus 3. I don't see it going minus 3 per month. Uh, no, I just did. Okay. 1st of June. So we do have uh, a couple of months left there. But we still have 20 days here. Yeah, France is going to be close. But hopefully it's only France I have to rebuild. Oh, wait. You're already down there. Different ideology. They have claimed our territory. Oh. They have claimed our territory. But we could still get it up. Just have to do it uh, ahead of time again, which is unfortunate. Time it perfectly so we don't get the minus three there. I'm going to go with construction again. No, I'm not. I'm going to wait a little bit of time now. We're going to go for a better gun. Only 121 days. Not the worst there. As for you guys, we're at 90 there. Very good. So, uh, France, Britain, Germany, all good. You guys, very close. Very close. Our reason for this, I'm not sure if I've gone over it yet, but these guys, uh, one military and one civilian factor will be added for each of the following countries that have an opinion of Greece greater than 80. France, United Kingdom, Germany, and... Wait, what? Was Italy not part of that? France, the United Kingdom, Soviet uh, Union, and Germany. Oh, Greece, uh, I mean, Italy wasn't actually part of that, so I did waste a little bit of... Uh, my points there. That's uh, that's a shame. We are having to go straight through this now. We've got 70 days. 70 days is about 3 months. Uh, so you do have the uh, points to go through that. You will have the points to go through it. You will have the points. Just you, but... Huh. Could get up that free. We'll wait a little bit, though. Not a uh, terrible rush. You're now at 84. Okay, so we're going to improve their relations now. A shame to see it... Uh go that way again. But it's just you and you who we are doing it with. But nope, nope, you're done. Very good. So it should be gaining points now, no? So do you need still, uh, still increasing? Can I just stop it? Oh well, um, France will be back over 90 by the time this goes through. Spanish Civil War! Nashua Spain has declared war on Spain. Good for them. They're all going to be getting to work there. A shame, I did, uh, I did dungu for a little bit of Italy there, but it's only a few little points. I could have paid off a bit of debt with. It's not the worst thing to have ever happened to uh, to Greece, is it? Minus 1.7. Um, France is already at the point, though. You guys are still at 90, still at 90. Still at 90, good. We'll get uh, eight factories out of that. Shame about you. Real shame about you. I thought... I uh, thought you were part of it, but no, I must have just missed up, uh, messed up from where they are. Something we owe money to here. Foreign subsidies, subsidized factories. Come on, guys, let's get it done. I want these factories. But I hope uh, going back on the debt doesn't destroy them. The games of the X Olympiad, good for them. Uh, it, it's not flavorful, unfortunately. I have wanted that event to be flavorful for so long, so I can see exactly how the nation I played did in the Olympics, but it's always the same results. Very good. Shame about you. I would have wanted that extra factory there. Still going to be uh, eight factories, though. So we uh, are in a grand spot. Perfect. That's a lot of factories to suddenly jump up there. So what we're going to do now is I uh, could go for all of these things. I am going to go with the resources. Peloponnese and Aegean Islands. The Peloponnese is... Which... Can we get rid of this? Which province is the Peloponnese? Epirus, Attica. 
Okay, so I don't want to do that just yet, because the uh, rebels will get the resources. We're going to go straight through here with the king's government. We're going to go towards a civil war first. We do have plenty of these factories now, though, so let's have a look and see exactly how far behind we are. 300 days, 900 odd days, several thousand days. Okay, so we're going to go with support equipment. On the extra one there, but we do need the resources. I don't want to go through the resources just yet, though. After this, we'll go through another civilian factory. I think that's what I am going to want. We can start going through with repaying debt to the British. And I think only the British, because we are going to fall back on our uh, debt to the French and Italians. I could pay it off first and not lose so much relation with them, but I don't think their their opinion matters. I don't think France and Italy's opinions matter at all. Because Italy's going to be a part of the Axis, and France, well... They're not the head of the Allies, that's the British. So I think we will uh, default on those debts there. They get minus 100 relation if we do so, but I'm really, really not fussed. Any upgrades? Yeah, we can potentially get upgrades on these guys. Let's have a look. Unyielding Defender. Defense plus 10% or max entrenchment. I think Unyielding Defender will be useful for a nation like Greece. You have Mountaineer, good for you. Then we have you here. Etimos. I remember that from uh, Age of Mythology. Yes. Age of Mythology was a uh, great game. King's Government. Perfect. So have we gone back on our debts yet? No. Oh, here it, it says here. The uh, debts with France and will be abandoned. And it will lead us to a civil war. But that's perfectly fine. We'll go ahead with that right now. Civil War isn't too much work. Just gotta secure some land. Manlicher and Dispersed Industry. Very good. Let's uh, go ahead and upgrade you there. To the M9527. Very good. Research slots available. Let's go with... Uh, I really think... No, I think... We're gonna go through with Construction again. And Dispersed Industry again. That's what I want. I'm very glad to see all those factories come through. That was that was perfect. Would have been better if we also got the uh, Italians on. Let's not cancel that. Oh, it wasn't mine. I thought uh, I messed up. I, I put the free where the one was. We do now have the extra factory though, so let's go ahead and... Um, we don't have any of the resources for any of these things, but I will put you on there instead. It's barely an increase, but I'll go through with it. Severely lacking guns. Really, really severely lacking guns. We won't train anyone else just yet. So as for Civil War, um, it's not going to be around just yet. But in five days we can pay off our debt a bit more with the British. And I will do that. No, I can't. I have to do these other guys first. We're going to fall back on those ones, so we'll leave them. Yeah, we'll leave them. Why pay off a debt you intend to default on? It might affect the opinion there. It might only go to minus 75 instead, but I just don't see it as being relevant at all. They're not important to nations. The uh, Italians or the uh, French in the grand scheme of things. The major nations are the British, as far as I'm concerned. Improved machine tools. Thank you very much. Let's not quite go through with that. Let's instead go through with this over here. Electronic mechanical engineering. I think that'll be the best thing for us to do at the moment. Definitely getting there, though. The right to rule. Come on, chaps. Let's give the king the right to rule. Get, uh, what's his name? I can't remember the name, but, uh, the event is the King dissolves the Hellenic Parliament. Why appoint a dictator to act on behalf of the king when the king is perfectly capable of acting in his own right? Let us not stand on tradition while Greece suffers. Well, uh, let's uh, not finish that. His Majesty King George II has sent shockwaves felt throughout the entire nation with his proclamation that he will directly be taking control over the country in a bid to prevent this nation being torn apart by squabbling political adversaries. To that end, the King's first decree was to indefinitely suspend the Hellenic Parliament, an institution that had been condemned by the King as a nest of self-serving vipers. The King's decree has been celebrated by some, but more widely condemned by other prominent elements of society. The Republican Venezuelists and the deplorable Communists have banded together 
after decades of animosity due to their shared desire to see the King of the Hellens unseated from his throne and disposed of permanently. Intelligence reports at this time suggest a civil war could very well break out over the coming weeks or months. The king's right to rule is sacred. It really is. The king was appointed by God. George II. He does look a lot like uh, Prince Philip of Britain, who I believe is this man, his grandson. I don't think it's his... Uh, I don't think it's Philip's father. I think that's Philip's uh, grandfather. 36. I think Philip was only in his early 20s at this point. I can't tell how old this man is, but he's probably quite up there. It might be his father, I, uh, I don't know. But anyway, we have switched over to Monarchist Greece, and the next act will be to uh, not extract uh, Hellenic Armed Forces, perhaps. Now, I might go through with these here. Exporting more luxury commodities. Consumer goods factories minus 5%. Change trade law to free trade, which grants construction speed. Oh, I like the idea of that. Yes, that's what we'll be doing. Tobacco, olives, feta, grapes, figs. When you want the best out of life, you buy your amenities from Greece. We should have little trouble further pushing our international image as a country with the best luxury products for purchase. Next, what I'll do for this first episode here, and when you come back, we'll likely have to deal with the civil war. It's uh, in 45 days, and it should be relatively easy. I, uh, I'm sure I can win it in no time. If you enjoyed this series, make sure you do subscribe. This series is going to be very, very fun, I'm sure. And the only way to keep up to date on all of the content that this channel provides is to subscribe. If you also want to join any potential multiplayers, I have a Discord server down below, which does host multiple multiplayers throughout the week for Crusader Kings 3 or D&D &D or Hearts of Iron, all sorts of games. I'll see you guys there. Thank you again for watching. I hope you do go on to enjoy this content. Goodbye.